Hello, this is Dibereth Winarbonlo. I am going to be doing a tutorial on green screen removal and some tips and tricks that go along with it. So we're going to use the background eraser tool here. So you see I've got my green screen photo, just some photo from Fantasy Gotcha Carnival that I did. We are going to go over here to the eraser button. Now by default, what you actually see is going to be this just regular eraser, but what we want to do is we want to go here and hold it and it'll pull up this menu and we're going to choose the background eraser tool. So I have a huge brush setting because my actual photo is like 4500 pixels wide. So since I have a big photo, I need a big brush. Depending on the size of your photo will be how you choose the size of your brush. So we choose the size that looks the best and incidentally if for some reason you can't see your brush size you probably have your caps lock key on. When you have your caps lock key on it removes the brush uh, whatever the brush icon that you've got there that shows you how big it is. So if you end up with these crosshairs that annoy you and you can't tell how big your brush is just click caps lock see if that's on. Alright so over here up in the top menu you'll see that it's got this sort of target looking thing like you're gonna snipe at your photo with a gun so we're gonna click the snipe button it's actually a sampling button this says sampling once what that means is if you click it's going to sample only that color and not sample colors across the board then under limits we want to do discontiguous under tolerance you want to have it as close to 100 as possible if you can do 100 that's great if your skin or other parts of your avatar have some green undertones you may find that it's erasing more than you'd like to erase and that's when you may need to reduce your tolerance a little like maybe by five percent the issue that happens when you reduce your tolerance is that you end up with more uh, fine detail green crap that's left over so like in the hair area where there's alphas that's the hardest place to get the green out it's even difficult when you have the tolerance at a hundred percent particularly in blonde hair but if you have your tolerance below a hundred percent it's going to be even worse so the less tolerance you have the more green that gets left in the small areas of your photo so we can set this to 100 because we don't have pretty much any green in here at all. If you have green that you're wearing, you probably will want to change your background to a primary blue color, like a bright, bright blue. And actually, if you have a blonde, uh, if you're wearing blonde hair, you probably should use blue because the green behind the alpha of the hair sort of turns yellow and then doesn't erase as easily when you are picking up the color and that makes it pretty much impossible to completely remove after you've erased your background. But I will show you after I've uh, done this first part of the tutorial some tips that you can use with hue saturation to remove some stubborn green parts in blonde hair or white hair or really any hair that you've got. So first we're just going to show you how to erase the whole background. When you click here it's going to start erasing the background. It's picked up the green color. So we're going to drag it across without lifting. That's the important thing. If you lift and click again, it will take the color from wherever you click. So if I accidentally lift and clicked over her body, it would start erasing her body instead of the green. Okay, so you can run it over, you know, as much as you want, just holding that button down the whole time, right? If you see that you're holding the button down and this is still removing color from here, like I said, you're gonna have to reduce your tolerance level. So we've created this um, background removal. It's working a little bit to actually remove the background. So you may find that it takes a little while, depending on your computer speed, it may take a little while for it to update your background because it creates a new layer. So it, it sometimes it takes some time to for it to catch up. So we're gonna wait for it to catch up. And you'll see it has become a layer. So you don't actually have to create a layer out of your background it creates it, it on itself when you do the background eraser tool. So it's created this new layer. Now we have basically gotten rid of all of the green we think, right? But when we go and view it, it's not actually that good. Unfortunately, hello boobies. <laughs> Unfortunately, this hair um, has a lot of yellow in it, so it has picked up um, some of this green still in this area up here. So when you have this problem, and I can show you also, let me just show you real quick, 
when you have the background eraser tool and the tolerance is set too low, so we'll set it at 56, the tolerance is set too low, you see how much more green is there than when I just did that before? So, like I said, tolerance level matters. So we want to put the tolerance back up to 100%. Now I still have a little bit of green in here, but I don't have a whole bunch like I had before. Now, unfortunately, we can't remove it with hue saturation as easily as we can when it's not a photo with a lot of yellow in it. If you have black hair and your skin is really pale, you may be able to get away with just removing the green. Under hue saturation, which I pulled up using Control U, or I think Command U on a Mac, you can choose the color. So I want to choose green. If you want to select it without using shortcuts, it's actually under here, Image, Adjustments, Hue Saturation. Now if I select green and I don't have a whole bunch of uh, blonde hair in the way, it would have probably removed the color when I desaturate it. But unfortunately, because there's so much yellow in this hair here, it doesn't want to do that. It has sort of blended into the alpha of the hair. So we actually have to edit the yellow parts of the hair. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to desaturate it a little. The problem that you run into when you do this is you actually will desaturate more than just the green parts. You're going to desaturate anything that has yellow in it. So we want to desaturate it very little and then just tweak the hue. So moving your hue slider up and down, you can sort of see the color will go in certain directions. So I'm going to move it this way. You'll see it starts to turn it sort of bluish. But actually, if we remove, if we move this down to like negative 30, you see how this is blended in? It starts to look like the correct color. Unfortunately, you've also changed the other parts of yellow, so the rest of this sort of gets to be sort of pinky. So it's not a perfect system, but sometimes that's better than trying to retake your photo, because we all know that that's a pain in the butt. So this is the way that you can do this in a pinch. But like I said, for blonde hair, you may be better off just to use like a blue screen in the background. You're less likely, unless you have a blue undertoned hair, you're less likely to have the alpha issues up here where the green likes to stay in the yellow. But any any kind of color that you use, when you background erase it, just make sure that your main photo either doesn't have that color in it or that you're really careful when you're background erasing that you're not erasing parts of your photo that have that color. So in this case, if I used a blue background, I would have to be really careful around these eyes because I could accidentally remove my eyes and no one wants that. It's going to look ugly. So that's how you erase backgrounds. I will show you one more time at 100%. No, we're going to do fit on screen. Fit on screen. Okay, so I've got my background eraser. Background eraser got my settings up here, we're all good. Click it, hold it, and you're going to drag it all along. And it's as simple as that. And like I said, this doesn't always work perfectly because sometimes you have too much green tone in there. And if you find that that to be a problem, you may end up having to reduce your tolerance. So I think that that's the gist of it. Now you've got a new layer that's all fancy and ready for you to put a background on it. But for now, we're just doing removing the green screen, so we'll leave that to another video. Thank you for joining me. This is my first video, so if I'm not lazy as sin, maybe there will be more to come.